quickly back on here. We got Kyle on the right. Welcome. Uh, actually, this kid has been like harassing us to hurry up with this. In the same way, he was very much in a hurry to get his ass kicked in his last boxing fight. Welcome, QCP. Let's Welcome go. to the show. Let's go. Let's go. Let's go. Hey, so, how are you doing, wait, kiddo? He, he taught me like the uh, th what a 360 was in his boxing match. Oh, what's what's that? Yeah, wait, wait, let's you, run this back for a second. First off, the true. way we introed this was I'm so ready to leave for what you know because you guys uh, put your uh, you know your friend Faith Wardway, my ex girlfriend. You put her here right before me. <laughs> you know we are not on good terms. What are you doing? Okay, we can talk Yo. about the fight now. Yo, I would be the first to say 100. percent Our bad. Our bad. <laughs> We were heard it was a communication error, you know, you're, you're not her friend. And you, no, you no, are, we're but all good friends. No, I understand, I understand, I understand. So, yeah. it's a weird Sorry. thing. It's okay. We were friends with both of you before, right. and we happen to still be friends with both of you and now. Then, and a house divided cannot stand. Right, so and you guys are my only friends, so <laughs> yeah. what do I do? <laughs> you know? Um... Leave yeah, early. That's so we're going to consider this a business setting. Okay. The strip cool. club we're going to hit later tonight is a non-business setting. Yeah, right. mm. that that's happens a sin. To us. sin. So we're going to commit some sins. Let's get sinful. Yeah. Speaking uh, of sinful, uh, thanks for the four private dances you bought me. Was it a full one? Yeah, yeah four private. Pretty private. You got blessed with yeah, that was fucking three actually, extra no, ones. I was done. I, I was done. I was I was. I was Why done. Why would you ever be done? Have you ever had four private dances consecutively? No, I was trying to you go probably back. probably were like, I'm done. I'm I, done. I can't do this anymore. You were, <laughs> you're not, there's no nothing changing. You but know? they were blessed because they were free and there was a homie hicking the I mean, it, it is super free. Two is, but weirdly he was watching the entire time and that yeah, was no. a little creepy. I saw Q I think I was like in the next booth. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> you're like, oh, I want to buy just over booth. Booth. I was like, you having a good birthday? <laughs> You having fun? So like, so the best way to describe it is like, I want to. Uh, one private dance is awesome. Two yeah. is like, okay, this is still fun. True. Three is like, all right, getting mm. a little bored. I did not pay for three, so that's what's funny is like, you really just got well, you got blessed yeah. but cursed because you. Well, didn't it wasn't want just three. three. Well, then, we, then we got two free ones. Well, like thirty mm. fucking minutes straight. Oh, I think so. so it was a while. We actually were questioning where you were. Pretty private. That's when you know is when you're like, where the fuck is he? Mm -hmm. yeah. And where I was like, where gone? the fuck am I? But it was a great time. No, good. I was done. I was done. I was done after two. But then we shit. all lost you guys because yeah, yeah, yeah. you left early because you're like, uh, uh, uh. let's bring it to. Hey, so me too. We, you're a friend, man, and we were here supporting you. We sat on the couch. We bought the pay per view of Rough and Rowdy. So sorry. And we were fucking hyped, man. And we just see our best friend uh, get his ass kicked. True. Uh, so no, it no, wasn't, no, no, it, it wasn't, wasn't that bad. Kicking. It wasn't. It wasn't. Yo, ass okay. So here's the problem. The problem <laughs> is obviously like everything else in social media. If you mm. clip it to one bad part, it looks like that guy got shit on. Mm. Mm -hmm. But this time it was uh, sh getting shit on over and over. No, I'm kidding. <laughs> <laughs> so luckily, I actually did grab some strength in the second and third. True. Uh, true. True. Uh, the first. Whatever the fir they're called. The first and second. The first one. So here I am. I have been boxing for two months, mm -hmm. bro. I have never punched a man in my life. Mm. And I go into a ring with a kid who's been training for two years because that's his company's job is to. Yeah. And you didn't actually know that until like. Leading I didn't know that until maybe like two weeks before the fight where he's like, or I, it was just, a, you know, my trainer figured it out and mm -hmm. told me that he's been training for like a long time. Yeah. And I was like, fuck, I started ripping a bunch of mushrooms, you yeah, know, yeah. Like, what can I do to like, just give myself the strength to be able to actually do this. Yeah. And going in there, like I felt fine. Hmm. I felt confident. I was like, oh, I got this. Go in there and, uh, bro, first off I stopped lifting weights. So I started getting really weak. Mm. I f the punches felt like air. Mm. felt like I was punching nobody. Yeah. And I was like, this is fucked. But then second and third round, it was just like, we were, gen I haven't, I actually have not watched the fight. Since really because it was obviously extremely embarrassing to get like virally roasted about like Ooh. doing a 360 Ooh. and like running around the ref yeah. I played rugby, you know, all I know is fucking tackling people I just wanted to tackle the guy yeah. because it's straight fight or flight. You're in front of thousands of people You don't know what the fuck is going on, right. especially having no experience. That was my initial reaction I was like this is fucked. I tried my best and then second and third round I actually like Punched him in the face uh -huh. many times. Yeah, and we were just it's the weirdest thing ever. You're sitting there slow mo looking at each other, going. I would, boom. I would say you won those boom. last fight. You won those. The last second rounds. and third round, I actually like did something, but it was the first round that was so bad that I. It was just like it was. It was like, like yeah. it was. It was a unanimous decision. Well, well, Bryce yeah. was telling us you can train as much as you want, but when you get in there, there's a shock of being in front of thousands. Of yeah, people. the but, training goes out the window. But I sparred like three times. Oh, that kid, wow. that kid was probably sparring every day. Yeah. yeah. So th that was the difference. Was like I did so much more than I should have mm. for not having any experience. But right. so th that's where I give myself props. Is that well, like also, I I'll, had I'll, nothing in, in I'll the. I'll never in the talk bag. shit on boxing because like I'll I'll never I'll, I'll never get in a boxing ever. 
Yeah. I mean, dude, I am not an angry person. I've never, ever picked a fight in my life. Yeah. Like, I am a white kid from Charlotte, North Carolina that went to a Catholic school. Like, where the fuck am I going to fight people? True. Never yeah. have, never true, will, true, true, and true. unless I have to, but it's like, whatever. Yeah. Yeah. It is what it is. Uh, I, I haven't even had the opportunity until right now to actually, like, say, like, what... I didn't, I didn't fucking go on my social media and try to back myself up, yeah. tell people, oh, I've been training for two months. Mm-hmm. I... This and this and this. I'm not gonna bullshit it. It what happened is what happened. It honestly, it was a good, it was a benefit. Yeah, I guess. it was, it was cool time. But, but it I was, will say, street fight. I, I'll, I'll tap you in any day. Street fight True. is so fucking different. If I'm just attacking somebody it, without rules, it's a completely different story. Also, the great thing about where street fights normally happen is normally about 11 to 2 a.m. Uh, 11 p.m. to 2 a.m. And you have alcohol involved. And you, yeah, of course. And the great thing about alcohol. It doesn't. There's no. Worry. There's no hold bar. You also feel like you no can pain. Stomp on their yeah. mouth and, and also bad. whatever strength you already have, multiplied by ten. Ten. Yeah. Easily. Ten x multiplied. Easily. It was funky. You know weird. And you can throw you. elbows on the street. Mm-hmm. Right. And elbows. You can do a down. lot of things. I can elbows. actually. I can tackle the guy to the ground. Mm. Yeah. Like I'm experienced at, and actually throw some haymakers in a comfortable position. Not the, something that I've never. And you have all your homies. The, 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 the whole gang hype of the fight was who's the better chef, right? But he's a way better chef. That really? is like for say, sure. You say that? because the kid's been he's all. been cooking. Who'd you fight again with, for the His audience? Name's Chef Donnie. Okay. He's a barstool employee, so the, so he but works I for barstool. Even say that. Like I don't even I didn't even knew who Chef Donnie was before. You right, but him. he's he's not a like big influencer. He's like. He's like Dave Portnoy's bitch mm. Like literally well, Half of them are Dave Portnoy's bitches. I know they all are Like I was in the office Do they Dave fuck? was there He's just an, He's just an employee yeah. He's just an employee there I could, I could be wrong But I don't think I am Because he was sitting there On his laptop yeah. Like everybody else Doing his work When I went We did a little face off In the office And like it was super cool Super fun Really cool uh, experience I went on uh, BFFs For like 20 minutes Or 10 yeah. minutes Or something But uh, that's that's all that's all it is for him. So it's like he cooks for these events. They'll have little tailgate stuff, and he's cooking for barbecuing, mm-hmm. hot dogs, mm-hmm. burgers. Right. He cooks American food. I cook Italian food. So it's like maybe we're on the same level for the types of food, but it's. Mm. But you've always kind of said too. You you don't really like uh, commemorate like your like like chef ability. Like you're absolutely more, yeah. You're like, like you're just like really funny and a good guy. I'm extremely inexperienced. Like. Right now, like yeah, I have I've been mentally committing myself to taking classes, learning how to fucking cook. I'm planning trips to Italy so I can go fucking learn, so I can actually look cool when I'm doing it. Like know what I'm really doing. Yeah. I don't know what I'm today. I made something for the first time ever. The last time I made something for the first time ever. The time before that, probably second time ever. Mm-hmm. It's like I will a say there. though, you cooked for us like two Sundays ago. Great, pasta. that that was a good dish, Great pasta. dude. I was like dish. I was three plates deep. Yeah, that yeah. was a solid was really one. Good. And I don't, I don't do shit like I'm. I don't do shit like that. It was good. Yeah. It was great. Okay. Yeah, but you know, long story short, incredibly cool experience. Barstool is great. They paid me in two days. It oh, was so you like, actually got paid? I, I got paid. I didn't realize you get paid. I when got you're boxing wired. Yeah. They, I like messaged them about it two days after the fight. They wired me my money instantly. Yeah. So that was immediate. Like, congratulations, props to them oh, yeah. because a lot of other one other. Didn't make that happen, That's which is fucked. Good experience, slightly traumatizing because it's like you're getting your you're getting punched in the face in front of hundreds and not hundreds, yeah. thousands of people. Yeah, yeah. And I got concussed. I was like dead for like a week. I feel fine now. Will I do it again? Maybe. I just the only problem for me is that like I'm busy. I got shit to do. Mm-hmm. I have to commit myself. I cannot do anything else other than fucking train yeah. if I'm gonna fight again. Yeah, it's because I want to know what I'm doing before I do it again. Another <laughs> question we want to ask. How did you meet us? Like, why, why, why so are my, you still, why are you still hanging with yeah, us? Why do you still come over? Well, and hang okay. Out with so <laughs> my initial experience, I was leaving the Wish House, the content house that actually just like closed down today. They closed it down. Yeah, today Wish is no longer having influencers over. Um, dub. T. Dub. 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 So <laughs> dub. I was trying Bro, to get guy, in. That, I, that ironically, yo, I think it was Halloween. It might have been Halloween, or it was. I think it was Halloween. It was. It, it was, was a Halloween very party around this time. And I had left that wish Halloween party. I didn't get in. And I like knew people in there. Whatever. I didn't get in. And I was with Welcome. Yep. If you guys know Welcome. Yeah, yeah. And yeah, well. he takes me to the sink house. Mm. And I literally, I think four or five times I said, what the fuck? Who the fuck is the sink house? Yeah. What the fuck is this? Yeah. I get there. You guys a nice little frat house. Everybody sharing a bathroom. It was also are- 4 a.m. Right. It was very late. And we were... 
I met you guys. I was definitely intoxicated. I don't remember like too much of it, but we connected. I remember Berkeley's Volkswagen because I went pee outside. I had a Volkswagen yeah. at the time. So I was like, oh, Passat, Berkeley. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah, so yeah. I don't think it, it had been months since we like connected again. I don't know if you guys like messaged me. I don't know if we met at a party, what? but messaged me to come on the podcast because I know when, when I came over to your guys' place that was near Beverly Hills. But we didn't, we didn't realize that until you came on our podcast and we were like, we were like, right, wow, right, right. wait, Q came over. Like, where did we meet him before? And then you were at our old house at 4 a.m. Well, right. it was because right. I typed in your phone number into my phone, like getting it when you came on our podcast, and it was under QZP. <laughs> and I just, I was like, yep, yeah, well, I typed this in when I was <laughs> fucked up. Yeah. Because, like, it, it's not, mm. it's QC, not QZP. But isn't that random that we met him at our first house? It is super random. I didn't have to be there at that time. I didn't oh, have yeah. to be there. That was so random. I got into Welcome's Jeep. We, he had, Like, it was so random that it happened, and it did, which yeah. is cool. cool. But Good shout out to you guys. Now. Yeah. We live 10 well, minutes I, away from each other. I, what's your most fucked up story about all of us right now? Okay. Like, straight off the rip, I'm going, I remember one time, it must have been, like, 8 p.m., and Kyle was so dead, like you were f- you were face down on your ca- on your bed, like this. <laughs> were were my knees on the floor? Yep, knees on the floor, face down like. It's my this. most comfortable sleeping position. And whatever everybody that's watching is like, yeah, yeah, he blacked out. Whatever. Twenty minutes later, the dude is is. <laughs> Let's go. He's like, literally, it took two people going rally, and he goes. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> you pop the fuck up, party all, the rest of the night. It's all about without maps. a doubt. You know, we've ha- we've had maybe like ten party experiences together. Nothing yeah. crazy, but that was extremely impressive. Mm. Oh yeah. I mean, Kai, Kai, I look at as like the responsible. I get drunk like one, two times a week. Mm, um, maybe you know, but when I but when I do, I go fucking hard, yeah. and that's yeah, the thing. I, I I think when that. you do, you go hard. And I love back in the times when you guys were actually having the parties here. Um, I don't know if that's like a supposed to be said. Say it. Oh, okay. Yeah, yeah, okay. Yeah, yeah. Um, but you were always just like, I'm fucked up, but I'm keeping this shit straight. You know what I mean? <laughs> like, we're going to make sure nobody does anything stupid. Mm-hmm. And then Berkeley is just, it's the most consistent shit every single night. The same shit every single night. Yes, just, sir. Mm-hmm. Just. Drink like a freak, make your friends drink like a freak, and uh, just have a good time. Yeah, yeah, that's yeah. it. It's a good time. This has been one of those. Uh, yeah, we're, we've been getting hella close. You guys, we always hang out. We always have a good time. And it's like a, there's only a couple like crazy you guys that moving time we keep fucking doing it. over here. Yeah, was right next to your house. It was the craziest thing ever because they delivered me a merch package and they were like, "We're eight minutes away." <laughs> yeah. I was like, "What?" I live in Scary. Calabasas. I was like, Scary. "You guys are eight minutes away," Scary. and it, it confused the fuck out of me. And it was like the it's the coolest thing ever because like I genuinely had not had any guy friends in sure. LA for almost a year. Mm-hmm. And then now being a year and a half, I've known you guys for like probably four months, but, um, it's a blessing. It's a blessing yeah, in disguise that too, we actually bro. can have each other here and prosper. It's a great time. I'm yeah. also, I'm also just very impressed at your ability to, uh, fuck party porn and- stars, <laughs> fuck porn stars. I don't know if you want to talk about it. I, I don't think it's fucking awesome. at this point. We we don't we don't have to state any names. Sure, well, okay, but, the but, okay, but the just funny, I just okay, want to say okay. But the, if you go to Pornhub and go to no, porn, porn shit, stars, to everyone you've, you've hit like out six there. out of the How top funny ten. is it when I come up to you guys and I go, Ryan? You go Ryan? I go, it's a girl. But you she say go, read, oh. and then it just everyone. Calls. No, my they did some sort of like fake, like it was like an OnlyFans thing where they were like. You know, we're gonna pretend like we're we're sisters, and oh. we have, and I'm yeah, yeah. I'm Ryan, and you're Riley, and her and Riley Reed, they both have the same like tattoo on their back. You mm-hmm. know, Riley's got the Arabic letters or Japanese letters on her back, Japanese. and then Ryan Reed's got the Arabic letters on her back. Yeah. But it's the same shit as usual, where it's you know Instagram DMs. Yeah. I'm more just like there's been girls that you bring over, and I'm like. So looking pretty ninth grade. Looking pretty ninth grade. Me. Ninth no, grade? I no, no, no. I mean, uh, like, what? He watched them when he was in ninth, ninth grade. Not ninth that they're in the ninth grade. No, <laughs> I'm not saying you're bringing ninth graders over. I'm saying ninth I was grade. Like, me. Oh my fucking god. <laughs> no, calm. Everyone, calm the fuck down. Everyone, fucking calm down. I'm saying, uh, looking pretty ninth grade. Me, uh, drinking off fifteen times a week. I but know that girl. There's a difference when you jerk off oh, to the porn. Okay, okay, that's. Listen, really listen, that's listen, really listen. Everyone, listen to what I'm saying. I'm okay, saying me. That's what you're saying. It's be a, more it, clear. Yeah, Anna got be, scared for a second. She got worried. It's a me thing. I'm saying ninth grade me, 
is jerking off to people that Q has brought over to my house. And I go, yep, I know you. <laughs> Not even, yeah. True. How do I know you? I know you because I know you. Yeah. It's weird. It's fun. Uh, it's all of the above. It's a great time. Ladies and gentlemen, it's a good experience, but in the end of the day, it's human beings, you know, yeah. human beings. You You're such a, a good guy. You don't have to be a porn star to have guy. good sex, you know. You have to be QCP to have good sex. Exactly. But when you make a porn star come a couple times, then you know you're good at it. <laughs> All right, guys. Thank you, QCP, for coming on the podcast. <laughs> thank <Fuck>. you. <laughs> Holy shit. All right, uh, yeah. Right, what, Q, what you guys. What are you What are you doing in the future? Yeah, yeah. You got a, you got a lot of big shit. Plug out. some stuff. So I guess right now I'm just doing the same shit as normal. You know, picking up the YouTube, more vlogs and shit. But working. You just on, hit 100k you consistently. Yeah, yeah we're vlogs. like 125, almost oh, yeah. 130, and just, working on a TV show next year, hoping to get a actual, you know, mainstream TV show because the world is lacking a modern day Gordon Ramsay. Mm -hmm. Everybody mm. wants to see some kid go around the world with his apron shirtless and just be a fucking douchebag and eat food. Yeah, I think it. I think the world needs it. So. Yes. That's that's where I'm gonna be. Hopefully, so that's what's next year. You know, merch, merch is coming back. All that shit. It's it's good stuff. We got a lot of good stuff coming. You're a beast. Let's go. Thank fucking you guys. Love you guys. Our biggest fucking fans. Yeah. I mean, we love friends. This. Friends. We love this. You guys are the guy. best. All right. Time for me to leave. Time for me to leave. Not gonna stay around. Uh, you should talk to your ex. Nah. Uh, it's okay. Hi right, guys, Tommy Uno. I'm gonna go smoke some right. weed and fuck. Yes. Hi. Right. Thank you. Thank Tommy Uno. Welcome to the show. No, I right, go pee, go pee.